Hello. Today we want to talk to you about intra-abdominal pressure and particularly breathing exercises that can help us to develop this. This is an important piece for lumbar and core stabilization. So this occurs because the diaphragm can actually pressurize or actually activate and push pressure down into the abdomen. And of course that's uh, kind of counteracted by the pelvic floor that keeps that pressure around the whole lumbar spine, and that's what creates stability. So to do that, we have to be able to breathe properly, and many of us don't breathe properly because we sit too much, or we're on the computer, or we're on the phone, and so instead of using the lateral expanding uh, musculature of the diaphragm, which helps to produce, again, that core stabilization, we actually use the shoulders and the neck, and the accessory muscles to breathe, so we kind of breathe more in our chest, and we don't breathe abdominally. So to test this, all you're gonna do is take your hands, just kind of place them in the soft tissues uh, around your belly, and all the way around your low back as well. And as you just take a small deep breath in and let it out, ask yourself the question, what do you feel move? So do you feel the abdomen expand, almost again like in a, a hoop, like, a, like, a, like you're pressurizing or putting pressure against your belt? Or do you feel pr the breathing coming from your upper back and chest? So if you're really struggling with this, not uncommon, actually it's very common for people to struggle with this, so we're gonna give you a couple of activities, a way to kind of help with that. So first of all, we can help you is put you in the right position. So let's try child's pose. It's a really great position for this, for this activity. So if we get on hands and knees, kind of drop your hips back over your feet, on your elbows and your hands, and in this position, take that breath in through, uh, into your lower abdomen, and you should feel that kind of expand well into your flank. You should feel your, your lower uh, kind of you know, abdominal area expand again as you breathe that in and let it out. And practice taking a slow breath in over the count of three seconds and let it out for the count of five. Great. So now if you're able to do that, you can advance on to the next one, which is a, the three-month supine position. So we've shown this a lot in some of our exercises, and this is a great, again, way to develop good breathing habits. And so as you lay on your back, you're going to bring your hips and your knees up to 90. This should flatten out your low back. Nice little pillow underneath your head is good just to kind of keep your neck very neutral. And again, take those hands, and you should feel them in the soft tissues, and go ahead and take that breath in through the nose and let it back out. Again, you should feel the expansion in your abdomen, but truly you should feel it down deep into your pelvis. You should feel that movement, that, that uh, pressurization deep in against that pelvic floor. Again, as you breathe in and let it out. So if you suffer with low back pain or shoulder, uh, chronic neck tension, uh, chronic headaches, try breathing again, right? It's a great way to kind of create a good firm foundation for all of your core uh, movements and core training. Uh, I would suggest try this in the, in the morning when you first get out of bed. Uh, I would maybe try to do it, if you can master it, do it while maybe even driving. And if you get to the point where you're doing it even throughout the rest of your daily activities, it's really, really helpful to kind of, again, groove that pattern to learn how to breathe again properly. Hope this helps you. Take care.